Hello, everyone. My name is Adia. Welcome to Talking Out Loud and welcome to 713 CEG Community Empowerment Group. And also, we are better known as Prom Girls Rock. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, again, my name is Adia. I am the program director of 713 Community Empowerment Group. And I just want to just say how excited we is for you to come to our um, Talking Out Loud session. Let me just tell you a little bit about 713 Community Empowerment Group. We are a nonprofit organization that uh, been in business for over 10 years. We have dressed over a thousand girls and we're just so happy to uh do a community service for the chicagoland areas and girls that participate in uh in high school um let me tell you about prom girls rock that is our annual prom dress giveaway so if you are on here more than likely you probably signed up for our uh dress uh giveaway but if you haven't or if you know someone please feel free to share, okay? And our information is on our website. And right here, as you can see, um, our website is uh, www.713ceg.org. So let's get this party started now, girls. Um, who I want to introduce you to is one of our ambassadors. She's been part of Palm Girls Rock. She's been part of Talking Out Loud. And now she is the head honcho. This is Destiny. Hey, Destiny. Hey, y'all. I'm Destiny. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. So I recently, well, not recently, last year, just graduated from high school, class of 2022. I'm currently in my first year of college at Columbia College Chicago. Um, I'm having a lot of fun there. And let me just talk about what Talking Out Loud is. So it's basically our web show where we form a community with girls, with basically anybody. We just have empowering conversations about our goals, about high school, college, self-esteem, you know, anything that you want advice or want some wisdom on, we can talk about it, Talking Out Loud. And, you know, with that, I really want to want D to introduce our next set of activities, which is our um, icebreaker. Thank you, Destiny. Mm -hmm. So I see that we got a couple girls on here um, and we would just like you to introduce yourself. So I see someone named Miracle on here. Miracle, can you introduce yourself? Tell us. Hi, Miracle. Hi. How are you? Hi. Can you tell I'm us good. like uh, what? Can you tell us what school you uh, go to and how did you hear about us? Okay, so hi, my name is Miracle. Um, I go to Kimwood High School, senior class of 2023. Um, my mom actually just like signed me up for this. She was like, do you wanna do this? And I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> and then she was like, oh, it's like an empowerment talking to different girls. And I was like, yep, sure, let's do it. <laughs> so. She signed me up for this. Great. Well, well Great. Okay. so are you a participant of Prom Girls Rock? Did you sign up for a dress as well? Yes. Okay, good. Because I want you to know that we have many, many beautiful dresses and 75% of them are brand new. So no worries, okay? <laughs> Thank nice you. Nice meeting you, Miracle. Yeah, you too. Okay, and the next, per and next person we have is Liv. Liv, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself? What school you go to? Is Liv on here? Okay, we'll come back to Liv. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miracle. So we'll come back to Liv. She may step away for a moment. But I do have um, a couple things that I do want to talk to you guys about. Uh, like Destiny said, we are an empowerment group. 
for uh, girls that's your age. Destiny just went through the same thing you went through. You know, mm -hmm. she's, she's in college now. So if you have any questions for Destiny, she can um, let you know about that. And she can let you know about her prom girls rock experience. Okay. So Destiny, I know you got a couple of questions that you want to talk to the girls about. So let's go with question number one. Okay. So question number one, what are your plans for prom, Miss Miracle? Okay, so my personal plans for prom, to be honest, I'm like kind of being spontaneous with this because, mm. you know, I've been to, you know, other people's like proms right. and stuff like that, prom send-offs and everything. And I haven't really thought about mine, but personally for me, what I'm going with now is like um like a little princessy thing, you know, because my favorite movie is Princess and the Frog. Yeah, but I don't like the green on me, so I'm gonna just go with like the red. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's like I want to do that. I want to look like a princess when I step out, and yeah, and that's exactly how you should feel when you're going to prom, just like a princess. I know I was feeling like that on my day, <laughs> it was so much fun. Okay, my second question is Do you have like the ideal dress? I know you just said it was red, but like, yeah. what kind of style did you want it to be? So for me, because of my um, body type, I'm a little bit plus size. Mm -hmm. So for me, I wanted to set a princess vibe, of course. I wanted to have like a very poofy dress, mostly mm -hmm. at the bottom of poofy dress. And, you know, the upper half a little bit tight-ish, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Yeah. And I want to have like a dress that's like, of course, down to my feet. Like you cannot see my shoes because I do not, you know, plan to wear heels because I can't walk in heels. <laughs> So I felt you. Yeah, I definitely want to at least be wearing gym shoes so you don't see my shoes. You can't say I can't be on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. So I want it to, to be like that. Yes. Yes. I love that. Poofy dresses are amazing. <laughs> I know my best friend had a big purple poofy dress on her prom day. It's perfect. I love that for you. Make sure to bring some socks too. Gym shoes, oh. socks, <laughs> and a bottle of water. Some because it's going to be hot. <laughs> Oh, and for my third question, are you going to be have, bringing you like a little partner with you or it's going to be solo? Definitely will be bringing the partner with me because mm -hmm. I'm not going to be on the dance floor by myself. So <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, these, so that's all my prom questions that I have. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was some good questions, Destiny. You got it. We got a lot of good answers from you too. But you know what? Let me give you some suggestions. Now, like I said, we do have far as plus size dresses. No worries. We got an array of them. Okay. And by you being an early bird, that means that you get the first pickings. Okay. So no Woo! worries about that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Woo -woo. <laughs> and then um um because um we just got a bridal shop that just gave us a whole bunch of beautiful beautiful Ooh, plus yes. size dresses so yeah you you no worries and then far as your shoes you know nowadays that they like have sneaker balls and stuff like that so you mm -hmm. could kind of get your shoes kind of uh rhinestone out and you know heels is not always the style no more so it's different <laughs> options for that and we got that on our uh we got the options actually on our um facebook page and on our website because we know that's always an issue you know especially for us girls we want to be comfortable especially if it's an all-night affair so mm -hmm. yeah for sure look into that and um you said you're taking a partner with you because you don't want to be on the dance floor by yourself you yep. do already have your partner <laughs> Yes, I you do. Already have already have it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> cool. So you on the ball. Oh, everything is going to be real good for you. So I do want to let you know that we are going to have a makeup artist on site. So they are doing. Um, she is doing um, like uh, mock makeup to show you how to do makeup looks. So we'll let you know. We'll inform you more about that if she have a sign up sheet or something like that. Okay. Okay. And also, do you have any questions for us? Or do you have any so, questions for Destiny? Yes, I have questions for Destiny. Okay, what's up? Okay. So, cool. I know you said that, like, you're in college now, and I'm finna go to college next year, technically. Right. So, um, how is this whole college experience for you? Like, is it like a, um, is it like a deep transition from high school? 
Okay, so I'm in state. I don't know whether you're looking to go out of state or in state for college, but I know for me personally, it wasn't that big of much of a transition, but it was definitely like a culture shock because you can basically, like, yes, there are like, rules and limits, but you can basically do anything you want. No, oh, I live, but um, you know, no one cares, and you you can make your own schedule. Um, I would definitely say find friends quickly because it can get lonely. I would say that for sure. Like everyone's doing their own thing in college. It you can definitely get overwhelmed by how many clubs or activities there are. Just I would say find don't pressure yourself into like doing things you don't want to do. You know, stay on top of your tasks, your homework, but also try to have fun. Find the little things to do, find little activities to do. You know, because that would definitely make your college experience like way more for fun than you know what it can be. But um, definitely find like positive moments within your high, um college experience so it doesn't get draining. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, how is up. your um? How do you like? I want to say like limit yourself if that makes sense. Like, cause you are like on your own or being a adult mm -hmm. so it's like how do you limit yourself when you're doing things or know your limit um i would definitely say don't like probably like money wise don't overspend because you're definitely going to need it like with food traveling like whether you're like dorming because i commute from like back and forth so i definitely have to keep I have, I definitely have to be responsible with my money. But if you're dorming, you have to be extra responsible because you know, I'm, I don't know your situation, but you don't know if you're going to get supported financially or something. So definitely, like, be responsible with the things you have, with the, the, the with things you have, because it can be lost really quick, really quick. So yeah, yeah. definitely. So, like you would say, like your college experience for now as a freshman in college is like pretty okay, pretty good. It's pretty okay. You know, it's not too bad. But, like, based on my experience and others, I would just definitely say be responsible, do the things you have to do so you can do the things you want to do. I know a lot of people who have been doing things they want to do and they have been on academic probation, dropping out, you know, so. Do the things you have to do first, and then party later. Trust. <laughs> okay, but well, that's all. The I have a question for you, Miracle. Yes, I have a question for you, Miracle. Are you planning on being in state, or are you planning on going out of state? So I plan on being in state mostly because we get the um, free tuition. So it's like I definitely need that. And I'm going to use that yeah. to my advantage. <laughs> but out of state really been trying to get me that. Like, we really want you here. And yeah, and I'm kind of like, but look, you guys don't give me scholarships. So I can't do it. <laughs> so, right, right. And so you already on the right mind track anyway, you know, in terms of financial stability, you know, that is it's more cost efficient for you to go to a school that's going to give you free money, you know, you don't have to worry about you know loans and things like that at least as of right now so that's a good uh, what school are you thinking about going to so there's two schools in mind mainly um first is university of illinois in urbana so that's the first mm -hmm. and the second one is uh southern illinois university in carbondale okay okay them two good schools them are two great schools so it's like you're not too close to your family, but you're not too far away from it. Exactly. In the <laughs> middle, perfect. and I plan to stay. <laughs> That's perfect. So, Destiny, what, can you tell Miracle, like, what challenges you may have had? I know you said, like, how to prevent things, but what challenges have came up that you saw going to school? Um... I would okay. So, are you staying? Yeah, I'm pretty sure miracle. You're gonna be like dorming at um whatever college you going to. So, I would say definitely keeping on track with my assignments. It's definitely and going to class. Like those are definitely a struggle because you have like freedom. Basically, you have the choices to go 
anywhere you want at this point. Like you don't have any like parents lingering over you telling you what to do. So it's basically up to you. So I would definitely say be responsible of your choices because it, you can definitely find yourself lacking, procrastinating, um, being lazy. It's definitely, it would definitely catch up on you quickly. So try to like keep an ongoing schedule of what you need to do, honestly, because I know I've been caught not doing homework, being late on assignments. I'm like, oof, I can't do it. But, you know, we have our moments. I definitely say that first semester of college will kick your butt. It kicks everybody's butt. I promise you, it's hard for freshmen, you know, but you just have to find a good community, you know, and just have fun with it. You know what I mean? So be responsible. Finish your homework on time. Um, don't give in to peer pressure if you don't want to do anything. You know what I mean? You know, just have fun with it. And, you know, just be responsible. I'll definitely try. That to was be great. 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 <laughs> that was. Have you been on any college tours yet? Yes, I um I am in a college readiness program with the University of Chicago. Okay. So I've been in college okay. years since I was in eighth grade. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, okay. So you're well familiar with the college and how it yeah. ran. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I think that you're gonna do well. You know, this is your last year of high school, so don't let your nerves get the best of you. You go, you're going to rock it out. I could tell already. You you know, you seem like a very beautiful person inside and out. And that's what talking out loud is about. We are here to encourage each other. We are your peers are here to encourage you and let you know that it's more to life, you know, outside of studying. You know, you can do you can make friends, you can have other activities, but but the most important thing in terms of going to college is to make sure that you set that goal and complete the goal because you're not going there for nothing, right? That'd be the, a waste of money, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys, so do you have anything, any questions in terms of the prom girls rock experience? So yeah, how was exactly that experience is because I have been to other places. I was like, yeah, here, here's your prom dresses. Then I go in there and I'll be like, these dresses really don't fit me. <laughs> or this is definitely not the style. They have more of the, um, it gives me like a 1920s type of vibe prom dresses, or they're very crowded, not organized. And I'm just like, I just want to go home. <laughs> so how is this okay, experience okay. with this place? Yes. Well, our experience is totally different from that. We have an array of dresses. We have dress stylists that will take their time to help you get your perfect dress. Once you find your dress, then you'll be able to take a picture, you know, with your dress and have that experience. And we also have uh, people who consult you. If you can't find a dress for prom, let's just say you can't find a dress for prom then we encourage you to get a dress for graduation. We encourage you to get a dress for pictures. We encourage you to get dresses, a dress for other occasions if it's not specifically the dress you see for prom. But I can assure you that we have an array of dresses, more than enough dresses to for you to pick from. And we have beautiful volunteers that's gonna make sure that you don't go out of there unhappy. And mm -hmm. you don't have to fight through people to get your dress either you're gonna be able to be right there find your dress without kind of like oh this person right here like you in a crowded shopping store mm -hmm. we don't operate like that we want everybody to have an individual experience get their dress kind of tell her about your experience destiny and how you got your yeah. dress. <laughs> so um last year when we did um prom girls rock um i was volunteering but i also did pick my dress and it was so much fun. You know, it was so many girls. They were so happy picking their dress. And like, there's a whole hallway of different sizes of dresses. So don't worry. We got you. You know, we're going to hype you up once you find that dress for sure. But um, it's just really empowering to see how like, girl, how we all come together just to find that one dress. You know, it's just, it's really fun. And I promise you, it's going to be like, a fun and comfortable experience for you. We're going to make sure of that. 
So don't worry. So I know I found my dress. I found a couple dresses actually. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, if you find one that's good, find two more. Trust. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. So yeah. don't worry. It's gonna be great. For sure. For sure. And you are early bird too because you participate in. So, like I said, you get a chance to pick yours first. So, you know, you don't have to stand in line and wait through all the other people. And then now you get in the scraps. You get yours first. So that's mm -hmm. the beauty in that. And also we um, have accessories to give away. Uh, we do have a selection of shoes to give away. And we do have makeup to give away. So it's not just a dress experience. It's an overall experience. Okay. So you will be definitely happy to... Um, to be there for sure. And we do have, we are going to have other programs. I mean, we're going to have other talking out loud sessions and I want to know, would you like to participate in them? Definitely do. Cause by this experience already, I'm just like, Ooh, I like this. <laughs> and I'm very course, picky about the programs I'm in. <laughs> oh, of course. And you should be, you should be because the thing is you want to receive the energy that you give, right? You mm -hmm. give out positive energy, you give out beautiful energy, and we want to give that back to you. And that's what we're about. We're and we we try to encourage your peers to be the same way, not just older people, older women, or um elder women. We want to encourage all women to encourage each other, okay. Yes. And the early bird, um, you know what time the early bird starts, right? I think that's I believe at 11. 12 o'clock. <laughs> it should be on the fly. I do apologize if I don't have it right in front of me, <laughs> but <laughs> it either starts at 11 or 12, but it is on the flyer. Oh, here it go right yep, there. Yep. Thank yep. you, Michelle. <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. So, um, we got you all covered up. And um, do you have any more questions, Destiny, for Miracle? Or Miracle, do you have any more questions for Destiny before we start wrapping it up? No, I don't have any more questions. Yeah, I think we're good. We're good. Okay, Miracle, well, thank you so, so much for participating with us. And we're going to do something again in February. We um, already have a budgeting class lined up. We have Dress for Success lined up. So, and we will have many other encouraging and empowering conversations like this. Okay. So, um, we will definitely keep in contact with you. Okay. So my name, again, my name is Adia. This is Destiny and we are 713 CEG Community Empowerment Group and we will see you soon. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.